Uh, but the key is, you've got this network of sensors around the world, and then I, sitting at the NSA in Hawaii, come in in the morning, I type in my search. I look for, let's say I want to read John Key's email. I answer his email address, and it sends that search to every one of these sensor networks around the world, and they search their local database of metadata and content. The content of all communications that pass through these sites is held for about three to five days, depending on the storage, and it's constantly, getting, uh, constantly going back further and further in time uh, as we gain more capability. So I can see everything. I can see what book you looked at at Amazon.com you know, uh, last week. Um, I can see who you talked to. I can see who your friends on Facebook are. Uh, I can see the text messages you sent. I can read the emails you wrote. Uh, and I can set up things that are called fingerprints that allow me to track where you've been on the web, who you're talking to, even if you're using sort of anonymizing technology and so forth. Now, what's interesting about these sensor networks is when I'm typing in this search for an email address, uh, I say where in the world, which of these sensors I want it to go to. And I know that there's mass surveillance happening in New Zealand because one of those checkboxes, one of those sensor networks is in New Zealand.